Yo, what's good guys? It is JD here. Hello, welcome back to another episode of the Nomely Spent Road to Glory. And as you can see by the smile on my face, the title and the thumbnail, we've got Danny Ferry. Look at him sitting there, looking at me. I'm looking at you, big fella, ready to join the club. He finally came out of the vault 279 games it took me to get that card. Of course, we were playing into the abyss with completed the ladder now we're at 1 250 we kept on playing the vault is changing tomorrow but that should just mean that Jerry Sloan goes back in alongside Danny Ferry but we don't have to worry about any troll galaxy opals with it being Jerry Sloan because Danny Ferry came out of the vault today 279 games deep I cannot believe that so uh, we're gonna obviously pack him or get him out of the pack I've got a Kobe six shoe waiting for him I've got six badges waiting for him so that's all going to be added onto him. Yesterday, we went ahead and sold up our Grant Hill and our KD. Both those cards have sold, so we will be cashing them in. KD's just not extinct. We'll be cashing those into the club. We've got a Mystery Pack to open up. We've got a Warped Reality Pack to open up. Two Locker Codes put in. And you might be wondering, why the hell am I at 1.5 million? Well, regrettably, we opened up quite a few of these Mystery Packs today. There were new Mystery Packs today. We opened up 10 of these. Rubbish. We opened up four more Warped Reality Deluxe Packs. Nothing. So I spent about 175,000 MT on packs today, on a Tuesday, because why not? Uh, didn't even get a diamond. So uh, that was great. So let's jump into it, everybody. I, there's so much to do, and I'm so excited. If you are new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Daily streams, daily videos, and a huge thank you to the goats of the channel for their support. Eric, Jason, Cody, Spooky, Caleb, Liam, Josh, Kieran, and Trevor. So we did do the weekly challenge for the mystery pack. Not the mystery pack, for the Ward reality pack. And that's got us onto the final set of uh, XP for Andre Miller. So we need to play a full game, basically a full 5v5 game to have 11 Cavs players and get 52 with a Blazers shooting guard. So I'll get us another pink diamond because why not? Uh, the only new XP we got today was mystery group number five. If you still need XP for JR, there's plenty more here. But I believe right now there's probably about 250, 240 to 250,000 XP available right now. So nobody should be struggling in terms of XP, that's for sure. There's a new event, by the way. Amazing event. One token for every win in Domination. That is what the community has been asking for forever. Um, but yeah, triple the offline, everybody. It has been done. So before we got that Danny Ferry, uh, we had played from 890 games at the start of this season. Start of the season, we're at 890. Um, we won 55 games, I think, for Jerry uh, Sloan. We never saw him. And we did all of those games when the vault changed and it was Dirk in there and, and Wilt. And we did another quite a few games for him. So in total, this season alone, we played 406 games of Triple Offline. 400 games just this season. 279 of those with Danny Ferry in the vault. And he finally came through. Now bear in mind, I played 350 for Terry DeShinga. Never saw him. Um, I was definitely prepared to be playing quite a few more games. In my mind, I was thinking, though, we're going to push to 500 games this season. And if I don't get him in 500, then it's a GG. But thankfully, I don't have to worry about that. Uh, there's a weekly challenge done. We did have to get uh, 10 laps with any player. And we did this weekly challenge as well. Three team blocks. I had three blocks in the first quarter. It was very, very easy and very, very straightforward. Um, we did one game triple online. Nothing too much to say about that. And also, I completely forgot to mention... We've bought a Bol Bol, everybody. Um, we, we've bought Bol Bol. Um, I don't know if we're going to talk about him loads today or if we're going to talk about him loads tomorrow um, because we will be doing a bit of a spending spree this week. If there's any cards, like top-rated high-end cards, you guys want to see me try out, let me know down below in the comments section. The two cards I've got my eyes on at the moment, obviously Bol Bol was one of them, uh, Shaq and Demarvelous DeRozan. So Shaq and Demar, both Dark Matters, should be able to get them both for 500k MT combined. If there's any other cards you want to see me rock out with and try out in some uh, runs of Triple Online or whatever, do let me know. Because obviously we've got about 2 million MT after we cash in KD and Grant Hill to spend today. Uh, or not to spend today, but to spend. So I don't mind splashing out a little bit. And we've only got a week and a half left until season number 7. So prices should be down and uh, cards aren't super expensive right now. We're going to get that DeMar for about 200k and yeah, Shaq's about 300k right now. 300k for a shack? That is a price I am very, very happy to pay. Look at that Daddy Ferry sitting there. I've played against so 
many. We've, I've generally probably played against hundreds of Danny Ferries this year, um, and thankfully we've now got our own. Right, let's see if we can get a, a few more packs out of the locker codes that uh, I've got to put in here. I don't know if this one's actually legit, but we're going to find out. Uh, and then 2K dropped a code today uh, that was part of their poster, uh, and it was just hidden in the corner. Very, very easy to see, so uh, shout out to 2K for that. No uh, Embiid's arm again, or Embiid's tricep again. It's going to work. It is. All right, sweet. I have no idea what this board is going to be for. Um, that's not ideal, but I'll take it. So we want to get the Pantheon All-Star Deluxe Pack. Ah, damn it. Oh, my God. I couldn't be further away if I tried. Blue was blue. Possessed Deluxe. I mean, it's all right. You know, those uh, Halloween... Uh, not the Halloween. The three extra ones. They've got some value. So I guess I'll take that. I guess I'll take that. Oh, actually, we've got three Locker Codes put in today. My mistake. We got three because 2K tweeted one out as well as the one that was on the uh, on the poster. So we have actually got three lockers put in today. That's cool. Well, we've got one guarantee pack. I believe this one here, I think, is a guarantee pack as well. And the last one won't be. The last one will be their standard pack or standard code with a, a badge pack, some tokens, and then a pack as well, which doesn't have a high chance of hitting it. Should be right. Let's go. I can type and talk. Who'd have thought? Uh, oh, uh, oh. I double take packs, man. Okay, so we really want light blue. And chances of getting light blue are pretty slim. Why Bob Pettit season three? That's so random. Why season three Bob Pettit? How did you decide that? Okay, we've missed him. Come on, the mystery pack. It's a Chris Mullen mystery pack, and we get it. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Mystery three, but oh, I'll take that. I'll take that. And then the final code we've got is for uh, the mystery packs of Victor Oladipo. So yeah, we do have four new cards to look through today. Uh, they're about as as good as you would expect on a Tuesday drop. None of them are very good, basically. We've got Amethyst Devin Vassell uh, coming in with a 77 mid range. Just so straight away, that's a huge turn off for that card. Uh, we've then got a Diamond. Uh, Malcolm Brogdon, who should be a great card, but he's only got a 78 driving dunk, or 75 driving dunk, sorry. So you just go for Tyrese Halliburton instead of him. Uh, we've got the Pink Diamond Joe Smith, who's not bad. And then, to be fair, the Galaxy of Victor Oladipo is a nice card, but there's definitely better out there than him at the moment. So we're going to get ourselves... Oh, these ball drops always take so long on these boards. Wow! Three codes, three packs? That never happens! It is my lucky day today! <laughs> It is my lucky day today. All right, let's get these mystery packs out of the way. Let's see if we get it. Bear in mind, if we do get something out of this, don't say, oh my God, he's so lucky. I spent 200k today on packs. I spent 175,000 MT today on packs. Didn't even get a diamond out of it. Like, uh, that's pretty bad, man. That's pretty bad. And so far this season on mystery packs, yeah, so far this season on mystery packs, we are 33-0 um, and 0 now. I want to say 33 and all, I mean 33 packs and uh, no pink diamond. We've got a diamond once, we've got Shump, but no pink diamonds out of 33 or 34 now packs. That's really quite bad. That's really, uh, there's nothing juiced about that, I can tell you that for sure. Right, let's have a look at the Possessed Deluxe Pack. Pink diamonds could hold quite a lot of value in this. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. It's alright, they've saved the good card for the Warped Reality Pack, so I'll take it, I'll take it. Another one, we've opened up four Deluxe today, and I didn't get a diamond out of it. I've got four Amethysts, and nothing in that. We've got another Amethyst. Woohoo! Another precious, precious, precious Achiever card. Right, just before we get Danny Ferry out of the pack, because I'm so excited for Danny Ferry, uh, we're going to quickly cash in Grant Hill and KD. So, Grant Hill, that's got two extra Hall of Fame badges, and it's going for 270. This one's got nothing on it. It's going for 220k right now. And then as for Mr. KD... Looking at about 200-ish. Yeah, diamond shoe, diamond contract, 200. My one did not have a diamond shoe. My one did have a diamond shoe. I had a Kobe 6 shoe, but it didn't have a diamond contract on it. Anyway, 282 and 212. So combined, 494,000 MT. I am absolutely thrilled with that. We bought Grant Hill for 300k. So we lost, what, like 50k? But I had him for a good couple of weeks. We used him in hundreds of games. He was absolutely brilliant. Loved using him. And the fact that we still managed to get that good of a price back from, I'll take it. KD's gone as well, and that puts us back at 1.65 million MT 
And just before we open up the pack, I'm going to show you guys my live reaction for when we actually got him out of the vault on Twitch. As you can imagine, I was a little bit excited, so have a look at this. The only streamer I'm subbed to other than a gifted or two. Man. Me. That is unbelievable. Wow. Well, thank you, guys. That is, that is awesome to hear. That's genuinely made my day hearing that. Like, bringing people to a whole new website to, to follow me? That's mad. That's mad. Do I stream every day? I do stream every single day, Matt. I do indeed. Um, four days a week or five days a week on YouTube, which you're probably aware of, and then every single day on Twitch. Haven't missed a day in like two or so months, and I think I've missed three days this year. So yeah, we're out here, man. We're out here. Bastion, shout out to you. Um, Aaron came to YouTube for me. Thank you, man. Thank you so much, everybody. Oh my god, let's go! We just had so much positivity! And Danny Ferry came through! Oh my god, we, we spoke him into existence! We were just so nice to this world! We were so nice to 2K and the world and the universe! And they were like, here you go, have Danny Ferry! 200 and... Oh, maths! 79 games! 279 games, Danny Ferry is here, let's go, and now, Danny Ferry, aka The Hairline, finally, The Vault has given me something, we played 40 games into the abyss, and it was worth it, it was worth it. A card that I have heard so many good things about. Number 35, Power Forward from the Cavs. Where's that hairline? I can't see it because it's so far back. But there he is, Danny Ferry. Welcome to the club, big fella. Let's go. Six badges already waiting for him. A Kobe 6 uh, speed. A Kobe 6 defensive shoe already waiting for him. 279 games. Let's go. All right, let's go ahead and check him out in the rewards section. He is the top reward, of course he is. 34 gold badges, 33 Hall of Fame badges. An incredible, incredible card with incredible stats that we are about to make even better. Here's one I prepared earlier. Defensive Kobe 6 shoe, bought for 28,000 MT, not too shabby. And now he's rocking in with 95s. And 99 lateral quickness. 95s everywhere defensively. My goodness, that is strong. And then uh, in terms of badges, well, I've only got five. He should definitely have six. All, all six of these are going on him uh, because he can hold every badge in the game with the exception of Steady Shooter. And obviously, I don't want Steady Shooter on this card. So he is going to have 74 badges in total. Or no, there's 74 in the game and he's got 73. I don't know, whatever it is. If it's 74 or 75, he's got one less than the max. Um, that is uh, pretty damn cool, man. That is... Oh, don't make that Hall of Fame. Ooh, I've got Hall of Fame defensive leader. That was risky. Do not do that in future, guys. Do not add badges from this uh, from this menu right here. You are definitely liable, as I know with uh, Damian Lillard putting a Hall of Fame pogo on him. Definitely liable to uh, messing up. Uh, what else do you need here? You need Dream Shake back down. Deep Hooks defensive leader. We can put Hall of Fame defensively. I'm not doing that. Right, I'll figure out what the last badge is soon. But 39 gold. So he's going to have 40 gold and 33 Hall of Fame badges. Oh my goodness. Danny Ferry. That's good. Wow. And going from one incredible big man. Let's add him into the squad real quick, actually. Um, decisions. Decisions to make, everybody. Decisions. Uh, he definitely comes into the club, but I guess we'll put him in there for the time being. And then uh, Julius Randle down here instead of Wes Unseld. Julius Randle instead of Wes Unseld. Nah, Wes Unseld is still that guy. Wes Unseld is still that guy. So that's what we've got so far. But, as I mentioned, Bol Bol. Here he is. And this ain't just any ordinary. This ain't no basic bitch Bol Bol. Um, who right now is selling for like 85,000 MT for just a standard one with nothing good on it. You're looking at about 85,000 MT. This one right here, Diamond Shoe and a Kobe 6 Speed Shoe, 132k. As you can see, Marlon's got 32 gold badges and 33 Hall of Fame badges. He comes off rip with 32 Hall of Fame badges. So he's got one extra Hall of Fame badge. I paid 150k for this card, everybody. And the extra Hall of Fame badge is 
clamps. Hall of Fame clamps, pink diamond ball ball, 150,000 MT. I ain't mad at it. I'm not mad at that. We've added a, uh, oh god, what shoe was that? Uh, whatever diamond shoe that was, don't know. Uh, mid range up to 93, three pointer up to 95, ball control up to 95, block to 97, perimeter defense to 88 as well. What a brilliant diamond shoe that is for him. And in terms of badges, I have added a few already. Um, the only ones he actually needs, really, off ball pest and trapper. He can have floor general dream shake and a flashy passer. Screw it. Why the hell not? Why not kit him out as best as we can? So we've now got a ball ball with as many badges as he can physically take. Um, like I said, the only ones you actually would need to put on this card are off ball pest and, uh, and trapper. I'll upgrade those at another point. So he's going to come out with 35 gold badges, 33 Hall of Fame badges. And now let's add him into the main lineup, shall we? And I think already Bob Jones is out, man. <laughs> I've literally just bought a card. Um, but now we're looking something like that. And to be fair, I might even do that. I might even relegate D-Rob down, because now the team's actually looking really nice and well-balanced. I actually really like the look of that team now, with two really big men at the centre positions, as they should be, as opposed to Mel Daniels, who's not exactly the biggest of men, or Wes Unselled either. That's actually looking quite nice there, and that is with 2 million MT in the bank over there. I know a lot of you guys are probably saying that JL's not good at the 1. I hear you. Um, we'll get a new point guard at some point, but... For right now, we don't really need one. Uh, for Triple the Online, which is now what we're going to be doing for the rest of the season, by the way, everybody. What do I need to do for the rest of the season? Like, triple Threat, completed. Domination, completed. Unlimited, sure, haven't done that. Limited's just got one more weekend left. We're just going to do, like, a board a day of Triple Threat Online and, and just rack up as many packs as we can. So hopefully every day we can have, like, a little mini pack opening, which would be nice, and just start farming MT and obviously we're going to start collecting cards as well or keep collecting cards made more progress today Look at this Eastern Conference is done apart from two players And Western Conference pretty much there as well. So that's looking really good nearly at 2600 cards liking that and uh, with a team looking like this with only one auctionable card in Bol Bol all of these other cards being reward cards. Oh My goodness gracious me. I cannot believe that so that is gonna do it for today's video everybody 279 games and we got our man and i'm so happy with that so hope you guys have enjoyed as much as i have as usual please like subscribe and i'll see you next time peace